Next year tonight, connect confusion yet again, this time as the Department of Economic Opportunity rolls out a new way to battle fraud and protect claimants. Instead, it caused the site to get overloaded. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee today showing us what many folks face this morning attempting to sign up. Claudia O'Leary was anticipating trouble this morning. Today, I started uh, at 9.15 trying to log on to connect. The Department of Economic Opportunity rolled out a new multi-factor authentication process and in true connect fashion, the site became overwhelmed pretty quickly, sending claimants to this screen with the message, too many requests. Yeah, I would click buttons and it would freeze up. O'Leary did eventually make it through to the sign up page. It's something every person collecting benefits must complete before they can get back into connect. The first step is signing up for the new process by putting in an email address and creating a new password. The DEO will send you a verification code. You'll plug that in and it will take you to the ID me page. You must sign in there too. O'Leary says she had to go through the facial recognition again, which she thought was odd. Supposedly when I was, I got to the ID me site, it would take me directly to connect. Well, that didn't happen. I had to redo my everything for um, ID me. The DEO says it's normal to have to re-verify with ID me after six months. After that, she was back into Connect and able to log in. The process took about two hours. It was just a headache today. It was terrible. O'Leary says she's been trying desperately to get a job. Nobody's ever contacted me for an interview or anything. She's been looking for a part-time work-from-home graphic design position because her husband is ill. If I get this virus, my husband won't make it. Even though we've had both shots and boosters. That's good. I still worry about him because he's on oxygen. He has 30% lung capacity. She's hoping something happens soon for her. The PUA and PEUC programs are set to end this weekend. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.